What's going on? We back. This is Boss Clinic Amore. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to the YTBC and everybody in between. We in the boxing grind. And, um, you know, they trying to sell this fight. It's the biggest heavyweight fight in the U.S. since uh, Klitschko and Lennox Lewis. And you know, it was like 99, 2000. And I think that's sad. That's sad that this is, you know, build the biggest heavyweight fight um, since then in the U.S. Um, obviously, the, the grade of heavyweights have dropped over the years. And... Um, you know, it's a lot of still tickets left for this fight, I believe. And, you know, you know, seeing this is the best heavyweight fight, you know, on paper since, uh, you know, Lennox and Fatale, I think it was in the U.S. And um, it not be 80 or 90 percent filled up. I mean, that just show you how how much the heavyweight boxing has slid down down over the years. Um, you know, it comes to for a two time PED offender and a. Um, a WC champion, Deontay Wilder, who isn't even recognized or respected as a, a real world champion in his own home country, United States, uh, by the masses of casual and hardcore and purist boxing fans, um, to give us this event. You know, um, I'm not saying that I'm I'm psyched for the event. I'm I'm hyped for it, and the closer it comes, the more psyched I get for Saturday. Um, but um, you know, it just doesn't have. You know, we had a feeling of David Hay and Klitschko. And that was a fight that we all was really waiting on. Um, but it failed. Obviously, it flopped. So, um, build up and, and uh, controversy and shit talking don't equal out a perfect product. So, just because you got a nice build up don't mean you're going to get the perfect product in the ring. Joshua Klitschko was huge in the UK. Obviously, UK is, is, I think, boxing is one of their top two sports with, with uh, their football. And, and America is just so much going on, man. I mean... They did a big mistake by taking Deontay Wilder off of regular TV. I mean, he was starting to build a fan base. And when you fight on Showtime, you limited. Showtime is so limited. It's, it's way more limited than even HBO. And that's a premium service provider. But Showtime is doing good. They got good shows, Billions, Trades, The Shy. They're trying to keep up with HBO. But, you know, when you have a, when you built a brand over 10, 20, 30, 40 years, have whatever it has been for HBO, it's hard to break that. HBO is top dog on premium channels. You know, Showtime has always been the lackey, and um, no matter how great they fights is on Showtime, you know, it's hard for them to crack a million. You know, it's very, very hard, and it's hard for HBO right now, so you can imagine how hard it is for Showtime with a limited view subscriber list. But, um, you know, this should have been a regular fight, man, NBC fight. Um, if Ox or, or CBS fight, that's what this should have been. Um, they dropped the ball on this, on this one. Um, I don't expect it to do anywhere close to a million views. And if it does, um, you know, hand clap for Ortiz and Wilder. But, you know, Wilder is not nowhere near what Anthony Joshua is in the U.K. Ortiz is, is nowhere near what Joseph Parker probably is in the U.K. You know, Ortiz could walk down the streets, nobody know who he is. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, popularity-wise, it's it, it, it may be the biggest fight in the U.S. It may be, you know, um, it probably wouldn't even do the viewerships that Klitschko and Brian Jennings did. You know, people forget that fight was in the United States. I believe that was on HBO. I'd like to see what the viewership rating for that was. You know, I don't think Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz touched that. You know, that was a solid, you know, competitive fight. That was before Ortiz knocked out uh, Brian Jennings. You know, but, you know, if if, if people dubbing it that and they people believe it is, well, we have to see them on, on Saturday night and on Sunday, Monday Monday morning and see what those ratings look like. I just don't like the limited platform Showtime is. That's what's really holding Premier Boxing Champions back. You know, Showtime is very limited. If you could put Premier Boxing Champions, you know, on regular ESPN like Top Rank or on HBO, the it is it it it'll, it'll shoot through the roof. The fights that you get on Showtime, if you're able to get it on HBO, I mean, golly, you the numbers they would do or on ESPN the numbers that they would do, but. Or you can put it on Fox, CBS. The numbers, they, what they would do, would be crazy. But that's not the that's not the uh, the case, um, you know. But I argue that Brian Jennings and Vladimir Klitschko was a bigger fight than this one. You know, that's what I would argue. I could, I, you know, most people may disagree with me, but it was on HBO. They had bigger subscribers. It's probably gonna do bigger numbers. You know, we have to talk about it after numbers for Ortiz and Wilder come in. Now, if you told me this was on one of these other networks I just named. Then I'll be like, okay, yeah, yeah. But Wilder's popularity is not going to grow the way it should be by being on a limited subscriber list like Showtime. That's the big issue. And something that Al Heyman and Deontay Wilder need to fix, but, hey, I'm not promoting them. We're going to 